Hello, it's Sheila, the Grateful Goddess. And today I want to talk about how to recover from a blow to the ego. <laughs> what do you do? What are some steps you can take to see your way through to the other side? So I want to give you an example from my personal life just this last weekend. I was at a conference that was so wonderful. It was for coaches and holistic healers and how they can get their work out into the world. And it was so heart-centered, so lovely. And the people were amazing, warm, welcoming, heart-centered. It was a fantastic weekend, all weekend long. I had people coming up to me saying, oh my gosh, I was just drawn to your energy. I love your style. I love your exuberance. I love, you know, fill in the blank. I was feeling on top of the world. Really, it was one of those things where, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, they like me. They really, really like me, just like Sally. <laughs> so I'm just feeling ooey gooey good. And at the very, very end, when we're just about to leave, this adorable 19 year old girl comes up to me and says, we have been on opposite ends of the room the entire weekend. And yet I just had to tell you how much I love your look. And I don't know, are you familiar with the Golden Girls? And I said, um, Yes. And she said, oh my gosh, you are just like Dorothy B. Arthur. She goes, you look just like her. Every time I see you, I think, oh, there she is. <laughs> so I kept the smile on my face and thanked her very much and then slinked out of there because in my perception, my view of B was that she was sort of built like a linebacker. She dressed in a way to sort of cover it. She was snarky and angry and not very friendly and had a pretty negative slant on everything. <laughs> now, I wasn't somebody who watched the show but from the clips or the amount that I did, that was my perception of her. So what does one do when they have been hit with something that feels like a blow to the ego? So that night I tried to get a good night's sleep and I wasn't, I was ruminating about it. And I hadn't really slept well the whole time because I'm not, I don't sleep well um, away from home. It's, it's challenging. So anyway, I was really hoping that, that since the conference was over that I was gonna get a good night's sleep. But no, now I'm thinking about this. Three o'clock in the morning, I considered Googling, <laughs> but I held up. No good, by morning, I'm Googling. B. Arthur. Turns out B passed away 10 years ago at the age of 86. She was actually older than my mother. So the idea that somebody thinks that I not only look like her, that I am her, <laughs> was a little bit of uh, And yet I know that the intent with what, with which she said it was to compliment me. So number one, if you feel like there's been a blow to your ego, focus on the intent in which it was delivered. Was it a compliment or was it an insult? If it's a compliment, receive it as such. So here's the other thing. There were how many people that I had giving me so much feedback that made me feel so good. And yet one comment that made me feel not so good 
was what I was focusing on. And I know that this happens all the time. Working with my clients, they will have success after success after success, and then one little thing doesn't go exactly as they thought it would. Boom, that's where all the focus and attention goes. So as you know, where you put your focus and attention expands. Make sure that you are giving adequate attention to that which you want to see more of. So I could have easily just let it go and thought about all the wonderful compliments that I had. But since I didn't, <laughs> and I Googled it, and I learned these different things, I had to, like, not only, so number one, I paid attention to the fact that she was actually right. I do have a lot of physical features that are similar to B. And the gray hair definitely looks like hers. So she was accurate, number one. Number two, the intent was to compliment and be kind. And she was excited to share this with me. And so where my focus should have been was on how this was her favorite character. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, that wraps it up for today's session. I hope you got something good and juicy out of this. Know that um, the world is conspiring in your favor. So look for all the good and all the compliments that you receive in the world and focus on those. Mwah!